okay uh, question number two right uh, transformation question and here they tell what the first one describe fully the single transformation that maps in triangle T onto triangle P that means this triangle triangle T map to triangle P uh, this is the uh, object this is the image so how we can get from here to here right now when you see these two you can uh, understand here what the size not change uh, here one box here also one box and here three here three so size not change that means not an enlargement and um, there's no any uh, different now uh, here like this a vertical line this also vertical so that means it's not a rotation also so um, right this uh, they, like that you should understand this is a translation right just they move this uh, this triangle to here so uh, you have to tell this is a translation and um, also uh, what the uh, what the vector uh, they used to translate right you have to write that so so you can write here what the this are translating translating right translating right translating mm, what the translate vector here uh, vector uh, vector translate vector is mm, uh, right translate vector how we can find that's the uh, key th uh, important thing here now very simple check this point any point you can choose this or this or doesn't matter this point how many times move uh, that a uh, particular point towards y value and x x, x value uh, x axis through the x axis and y axis now for example this point and this point let's check right that two point now this point you can see here right so how many uh, times it move hmm? how many units it pass hmm? through the x axis from here to here no then you can see a uh, x value that means this is go to here just only here huh? if, if i if i draw uh, like this way so that's why to the x-axis it go only one unit one unit but to which side huh? to which side it's go right this way no this way that mean in x-axis it go right plus side it go to plus side right from triangle um, right t onto triangle p so uh, t uh, when they it's move it's go to the uh, um, x axis uh, plus side this side so that's why it will be one x value will be one right and y value y value from this point it's go to downward like this way right you can count like this way right here and then after like this one two three four five six six but that is to the minus side of the y-axis huh? first this side no it's go that, that's why it is plus one but if you go to this side it should be minus huh? this side that means minus side of the y-axis basically if, if it is go to down so it will be huh? y uh, minus six so this should be minus six right that's the uh, vector they used to translate right okay uh, next question part b from number one uh, they are replace triangle t in the line x equal one right x equal one so um, line x equal one no and also it is a reflect reflect mean uh, like we need to use the mirror line and a uh, very simple one so x equal one x equal one mean here x axis we are the x uh, value we have one plus one here no so through the that line x equal one if you got like that you need to draw to the one like this way vertical line if x equal three then like this huh like that no you know that idea so x equal one should be like this so i will draw it right x equal one like this way it should be like this huh? replay line and then uh, sorry mirror line now we need to replace so very simple from this uh, reflect line uh, mirror line 
count the distance to exact point now this point it is one huh? one box so you need to get the opposite way one so this point will be here right that's the idea then for this point what the distance from the mirror line so one two three four so this way uh, you need to count four one uh, sorry one two three four here uh, then you can understand how it will be uh, normally if you uh, look this one through the mirror that's the idea for this point also you can count from here one two three four so here also one two three four this is the three points now you have to join right very simple idea uh, right now what we need to do right we have to join these three point and then right okay now we reflect triangle t right uh, through the mirror line x equal one this is the x equal one that mirror line okay now uh, okay that part be done now this one what the rotate triangle t through the uh, throw 90 degrees and anti-clockwise uh, not clockwise anti-clockwise about uh, what the um, rotation center is 0 uh, 6 0 uh, rotate triangle T through the uh, throw 90 degrees anti-clockwise about 6 0 6 0 so where are the 6 0 here x value uh, x axis 6 0 mean this point right you have to rotate right uh, you can use here actually transparent paper huh? or you can use normal line and then you can uh, do it but um, normally i recommend because they allow to use the transparent paper no so that's why uh, it's better to use transparent paper easy so i will use transparent paper um, here but the about this point you need to trans huh? translate so uh, sorry um, rotate anti-clockwise right anti-clockwise so what you need to do person right from this point draw a line to the your triangle right like this this one right roughly draw a line like this huh? i need to draw from here to here right then this is the rotation center six zero huh? from that or any point this or this or this doesn't matter i draw to here now uh put the transparent paper right this is very simple idea right like this now mark this triangle the important three points like this right now here is the rotation center so uh, you can understand here 90 exactly huh? right if you need you can draw a, uh, that line here also huh? like this then very simple huh? put the ruler like this and then you know 90 right when between these two lines 90 right like this should be here now you can see between this line and this line you have 90 here and here right and i rotate anti-clockwise huh? this way this way not the uh, clockwise anti-clockwise 90 so here right try to understand again this is the rotation center i mark it and draw a line for the uh, point of your triangle and then put here that exact line point and uh, roughly draw a line to the that point again on the transparent paper and then keep here the pin and then just uh, mark before that these three points important points uh, roughly and uh, rotate just to be 90 now you can see here 90 then you can understand where should be the points uh, here here and here right then just mark these points and uh, just uh, join those point then you can get the the triangle right very simple idea but there's another way also huh? this all the transformation we have some other method right but uh, here according to you what the method you feel easy you can use that right huh? right okay now uh, but the next one right we did that part uh, right now we have the last part mm, what the they tell enlarge triangle t by a scale factor minus two 
all right center is what the center one zero right we have to get enlargement right we have to enlarge triangle t by scale factor minus two minus two that's the key thing here you should understand minus two okay now here they tell no enlarge triangle t by scale factor minus two center one zero center one zero that mean one zero mean here one zero is here right that's the thing key thing you need to mark first of all if you have to enlarge mark this uh, enlarge center here and then very carefully draw a line draw line through the this now this is the triangle you have to right triangle T no huh? this triangle T no you need to huh? um, enlarge so what are the points huh? what are the uh, these vertices of this triangle T from that vertices draw a straight line to this point right like this And when you draw these two, right, uh, very carefully, uh, when you join these two points from here to here, right, you have to extend that one. But we draw normally from here to this side more because why? We know now this one will should be it if it is two will be this way. This side go to right. This is minus two. No, it's called factor is minus two. That's why it should be in this side, right? Because why now this is the scale, uh, uh, what the enlargement center? Enlargement center is this one. Now, if it is plus two is the scale factor, uh, that triangle also should be the same side, this side, right? Here or, or somewhere should be uh, from here to here. Now, when you can compare with the uh, enlargement center, and here is the our origin ob object, no, same side will be. But if it is minus, then it should be this side. That's why from here, this vertices, we draw line to this point, right? This point and right like this way, we have to join and very carefully when you join also. Uh, now here you can see this is the uh, vertices of this box, right? Here vertices. Then other also may, must be matched like that. Huh? Uh, not always, but normally for... Uh, exam papers they give that way to uh, uh, easily you can find then that's why here and here then definitely here 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 like that right so i will draw from here to that uh, enlargement center and directly like this right right that's the idea now i draw the line right same way for the other point also you need to draw same side right this side because for this side try to understand it's very important otherwise you will choose, uh, you will think why we draw or not this side huh? because this scale factor they tell no minus two that's why it should be other way when you compare with the enlargement center okay now i will draw the other one also from here it should be like this hmm? right like this right try to do it a uh, maximum correctly right like this right like this now i draw the from here to here now i need to do one more this from here to here right that's the thing okay now last one what the this line now i i already draw it right here look now from this is the enlargement center from this vertex i need to draw like this right keep now you have to keep like this and just from here to here draw uh, like this now I draw it uh, these are roughly uh, I draw uh, but you have to uh, draw it uh, try to do it maximum correctly right now this line I have problem actually little bit it should be little down uh, you can see here uh, this line should be go little bit down okay it's okay now what we need to do uh, we need to find the this uh, triangle no after enlargement okay now I will show you uh, I will discuss that now this is the idea choose this point right this is the point and that's uh, what the line of that this one right from here to here what the distance through the x-axis uh, from here to here one box right one no one uh, to this point we consider only x distance through the x-axis uh, one here one so one multiplied by minus two 
then what the answer 1 into minus 2 minus 2 so you have to count from here to here one you count count you already count one here then count backward other way two minus two because minus two no so that's why not this way you need to count this way one two two then what the our line for this point it is here right uh, now this is the idea for this point for this point uh, this is the line keep in mind that first uh, clearly uh, understand this is the line related to this point right and for that point what the distance uh, from the uh, enlargement center from uh, x-axis uh, or you can use even y value uh, from here to here what the distance it's only one box so one multiplied by scale factor our scale factor is minus two so it will be one into minus two minus two minus two no so that's why don't count to this side this side we need to count other way so one two and two come to the our line then after because this point related to this line so this point should be here right that's the exact point okay then same way for other three points now again i will explain another one okay now this point related to this line right is the line it related right remember okay i will put the my finger there and then count for this one how many uh, boxes how many unit it distance are uh, this way only this way count it's okay x b x using x axis one two three four four no four into minus two what the answer minus eight so minus eight no not this way you need to count the other way right one two three four five six seven eight here is the eight from that point come to the your line so here is the point that's why i told you this line little a uh, bit uh, go up x exact point should be here right this this work must be uh, you can apply for any points huh? here now scale fact uh, the enlargement center is here otherwise if you got minus points and like that huh? uh, different value you will get huh? that's why i told you if it is minus what the uh, way you count now this way you count you need count other way if it is minus value you got if you got plus value same side you need to count keep mind that okay now we got three uh, two points now last one this one right again this line this point related to this line so i will keep my finger for that line and then uh, this line now count from here to this point what the distance through the x-axis for this point easy one two three four this way it is four four into minus two again minus eight so you need to count this way again eight same will be uh, here and now this is the point because the, this is the point this is the line related to this point right so that's why it should be here hmm? that also has little different uh, little bit, uh, up here right now we got uh, the, all three points for that triangle now you have to join that three points together right that's the idea right now i need to show you actually exactly uh, how you need to do i mean in the exam you have to do no on the this way paper right that's why right this is the idea now if i draw this line exactly uh, here there was no that mistake then it go through the exact this point right right now that's the working for uh, get to this enlargement uh,